Today the topic of discussion is singly circular linked list and in that we'll study how to create a menu of that linked list and create function. So uh, today we'll discuss singly circular linked list. Let's start with singly circular. Singly circular linked list, uh, first of all, for any linked list we have to create a node. And if I talk about singly linked list, it's simply a node. It's simply a node having two parts. One is data and one is address. And this address is address of next node, which is again a node having one data part and one address. And address, what is address? Address of next node, which is again a node having one data part and address. So why, sing why is uh, this is singly? Why circular? Because now this is having address of last node. The last node is having address of first node. Then it becomes singly circular. But my job is to first understand how to create this this node how to create this node no the first part is how to understand how to create this node because of that we have created a structure we have created a struct and we have given a name node you can give any name but no node looks more sophisticated as we are creating a node now here in a structure of linked list you have a two part one data it, data could be integer character float anything but we have created integer so it is integer data you can create in int info whatever you want and second is a pointer because pointer hold the address now this address is not a simple address this address is holding the address of a node and the node is again having two part one data and address so this node is again a structure type so because of this the data type of this node this next is what struct node and hence this is called self-referential structure self-referential structure fine this because of this this is called self-referential structure now we have created a variable of this structure which is node 1 and we have type defined the structure why we have type defined because now instead of writing struct node I can only use node 1 that is node 1 is representing the entire structure node 1 is representing the entire structure if you want to understand what this type def is so let me tell you a very good example see void main fine and here I have created a variable int and suppose I have given a name James fine and I have type defined it type def this means James is of type integer and I have type defined it. Now what am I doing is that James a comma b. Now this a and b variable are of type James and James is of n type. That is now we have given a power to James that it can create its own variable. Fine. So this is why this is how node 1 is representing this entire structure. Fine. So if you see the structure of a node then one is data part and data contains six and one is address part that is address of next node one is address of this particular node because every structure in a memory has an address so address of this node is suppose the name of this node is java t point java t point so the address of this java t point is 200 fine so if somebody is asking what is java t point 200 what is data of java t point 6 what is java t point next 300 so what is java t point 200 so this 6 is data this 300 is address of next node and this is structure of a node. So this is what I wanted to explain you because if you will not understand the structure you no know, coding, you will not be able to understand linked list. Fine. Okay. Let's move big further and understand the menu and what this menu is all about. Menu is simply when you go to a restaurant and in restaurant you have a menu where you have multiple options written in front of one two three and four and five where you simply ask waiter to you know, bring a, a, a third number or fourth number or fifth number in a similar fashion a linked list has a different menu so let's start with the menu in main function I've created a variable ch while one means condition always true condition always true N this while is not going to stop because why one one if you put 100 500 you can put anything but anything other than zero is always true so condition is true now you have one create two print three insert four delete five exit enter your choice that is what you want to do that some, some waiter is standing in front of you sir you have these options what do you want to do you press sir i want to create you you pressed one why because in create there is a one you press one so ch is having value one switch will have value one it will jump to case one and case one you have a create function so we are, we are calling we are what we are calling we are calling which function create function so we'll simply jump to a create function now you have a create function and inside create function you have created a pointer temp 
and which is of data type node 1 and I have just explained you what is node 1 see this we have created a structure we have created this structure and a structure having two part data and address and node 1 is a variable of that structure so instead if as I have type defined it so I'm using node 1 if you have not used the type def then you have to write struct node instead of node 1 you have to everywhere wherever you are seeing node 1 you have to write struct node fine this is what you have to do now comes first of all if I say if you can you see the link list no there is no link list inside this block so the head the head is the pointer you know that tail is a pointer you know that head points to the first node tail points to the first node and last node and both are having null so in starting since there is no link list these both head and tail are having null values fine okay so now you have to start with the link list what you will do you, you will create a node and what creates a node dynamic memory allocation function so i have used malloc and i have used size of operator and which size i am asking looking for node 1 type and what is node 1 having two part data and address the moment you do this a node gets created a node gets created fine a node gets created and suppose the address of this node is 100 so what happened what malloc do malloc return the address and address is hold by what pointer and i've already created a pointer temp so this temp is of node 1 type so i've created a temp temp is holding now the no name of this node is temp and this is holding 100 and what is this type casting why type casting because i have to type cast because this address is not a simple address this address is address of a node because of and node is of type node 1 so i have type casted it with node 1 if it would have been type integer then i would have written integer or character or float whatever it is fine so hope you have understood till here so till second line what has happened a node is created the name of node is temp address of node is 100 and there is nothing inside the node now you have to insert the data so i'm asking a user enter the data so user will enter the data suppose user is entering 5 so where this 5 will go temp data so temp this is data part this is next part so temp data will have what suppose i have entered 5 so temp data will have 5 fine if head is equal to null yes currently head is null because when we have started we have already initialized head will null so condition becomes true i'll go inside head is equal to temp so this node become head why because temp is 100 head will also have 100 so this has become head tail is also temp what is 100 what is temp 100 so tail will also have 100 so all these are having 100 100 tail next this is head this is tail this is stem so this is next of everything so tail next will have head what is there in head 100 so the moment i write 100 so this node started pointing itself this means there is some circular structure fine i'll not go to the else part fine so i'll not go okay so what happened i'll not go to the else part the moment i'll not go to the else part i'll come out of this loop i will come out of this loop this this loop fine this create function then where i'll go i'll simply go to where where i have received the call from where i have received the call i have received the call from this create function the next line of this create function is break i'll come out of the switch will i come out of the end loop no i'll again go to the uh, while loop sorry while loop and then ch and check the condition condition is always true that means the moment you finished one of your uh, menu the waiter is still standing in front of you sir what do you want next one for create two for print three for insert four is for delete five is for uh, exit enter your choice i again pressed one the moment i press one ch will have one case one will have create function i'll simply jump to the create function so again what will happen again what will happen again one uh, pointer temp the, the moment you come out here from here this temp will get destroyed why this temp is a local variable no create function local variable is temp the moment you go, go out of this function the temp will get destroyed why not head and tail because head and tail are global variables which are above main they will not get destroyed fine okay so the moment i'll come again inside because again create has been called so again temp will be created and one node will be created so what will happen uh, again a temp node is created having address suppose 200 again i'll ask the user to enter the data suppose user entered 6 i'll put 6 over here fine okay now i'll check is head equal to null no condition is false why because a head is 100 is tail null no tail is also 100 so neither head nor tail both are not null now so condition become false i'll go to else part tail next what is tail next this tail next will have temp what is there in temp 200 so what will come here 200 the moment i'll put 200 over here so this pointer will move from here to here because it is pointing to the 200 
tail is equal to temp because tail is the last node so what is there in temp 200 to tail will help 200 to tail will come here fine and at last what will happen because last node always keep the address of first node tail next this part will keep head what is there in head 100 fine so the moment i'll keep on you know adding the node every time what will happen the node will get appended and the tail next will have what head so similarly if i see the final structure similarly if i see the final structure if you see the final structure see this this will be created that is where head is the node which is pointing to the element having 5 value 5 and tail is the node having address 500 pointing to the uh, value 9 fine so similarly when you keep on adding create 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 when you keep on calling pressing 1111111 in menu the five times you the five node will get created 